safety of every one of us. Every member of First Great Western has a duty of safety. It is the responsibility of every one of us. Hosts like Claire. As a customer service host, my prime role is to look after the of the passengers, including customer service hosts like Claire. As a customer service host, my prime role is to look after the catering needs of the passengers. But in an emergency situation, passengers will turn to the first member of staff they can find. A revenue protection. All need some training in the use of on-train equipment, and that's what this programme is all about. Let's start with communication. You may need to speak to the passengers in the train manager's office in coach A, and here in the buffet car. Simply pull the switch down to the on position. You may encounter a situation which requires you to stop the train. The quickest way to do this is to pull one of the red alarm handles, PASCOMs as we know them, by pulling a red chain. This type will apply the train brakes. Remain by the PASCOM until the train manager locates you and then give a brief explanation of your reason for pulling the alarm. The train manager will then tell you what to do next. If you come across a door that is in our sleeping cars are exactly the same as those on the HSTs, only there are more of them. Apart from one at each end of the corridor, there's one in each compartment. One at each end of the corridor, there are more of them. Use your fire training knowledge to assess the situation and always consider... In most circumstances, any fire will require the train to be stopped before an attempt can be made to tackle it. Foam-type fire extinguishers are located... You must isolate by breaking the glass and turning the switch. Or may be manually activated by breaking the glass of the alarm panel and operating the alarm. If you discover any kind of fire in a sleeping car, you must activate the fire alarm as well as pull in the PASCOM. For disabled passengers. The toilet can park. A similar call for A1 in the toilet so that you can tell which is which. Passengers will turn to the first member of staff they can find. This is embankment locations. There are live overhead wires or an electrified third rail. Above each external door, there is a green emergency release panel. Strike the cover with your clenched fist. This releases the door locking mechanism. Now lower the window. Only fitted at alternate doorways and are in set, so it's difficult to see them. So make quite sure the door has these steps before and move. Begin by sliding the glass panel covering the red release handle. If the door lock has been tampered with, you should deal with the situation in the same way as you would for a door on the catch or open. Each side of the coach, adjacent to the door which it releases. Break the glass cover and turn the red handle. Like the cover, external door, you'll need to break a window. Locate one of the window hammers in its recessed panel and strike the cover. Pull out the green hammer. Then, aim in the pointed steel tip of the hammer at the glass. Strike the window in one corner. Don't try. Climbing from a train through a window aperture can be difficult and dangerous. So be very careful and assist the passengers as much as you can. Once they're detrained, keep them together and escort them to a position of safety. Emergency equipment. Pull down the handle. With the location and use of the on-train. Towards ourselves, our colleagues and our customers. I hope now that you're far more confident in knowing what you can do to help. In a depot. And jump down. <laughs>